the uh, Chiefs with a win can stay in the second seed and the AFC playoff picture is taking shape. Teams are starting to clinch playoff berths. The seeds are still subject to change, but uh, we mentioned the the Los Angeles Chargers clinched a playoff spot with their win. They currently be the sixth seed. The Miami Dolphins have slipped down to the seventh. So right now the Chiefs would play the Dolphins. Got two or three, one of the worst interceptions I've ever seen in my entire life in that game <laughs> against the Packers. Good. Really God. So much for that accuracy that Tyreek was bragging about in, in the off season, but, um, Bengals and Ravens there and there in that three, four. Um, Jacksonville Jaguars looking like they might sneak in and win that division. Right. The Titans what? Are falling off a cliff. And Trevor Lawrence is looking hot, man. He's looking good. He's a top yeah, rated passer. Top rated passer since he's also nine. playing well. What's that? We well, said he's he's hot. He's looking good. I said, yeah, he's also playing well. Oh, no. Whoa! All right, Nick. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're full of them today. Yeah. Don't quit your day job. Anyway. <laughs> they got that uh, mic in front of him. He's like, hey, I'm going to try stand-up. <laughs> hey, uh, what's the deal? Got hey, to go with airport food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, the, the Chiefs got to win to, to keep pace here. One seed hopes are still alive. Tom was asking us a, a little bit ago about what we thought the Bills Bengals game, we thought about that. What we thought a score might be. Um, Oof. I think the Bengals are going to win that game. They're playing better than the Bills right now. And Joe Burrow, I think, is a better quarterback than Josh Allen. And the Bills got to go on the road to Cincinnati. Um, big Doug's in here looking for a 50. Yeah, I'll, for sure. I'll take it. Um, what do you guys think about this Bengals-Bills game? Who do you think pulls it out, Bo? I mean, we're obviously rooting for the Bengals, right? Because if they do take down the Bills, that coveted one seed is definitely obtainable. Um, I think the game's in Cincinnati, right? So they got the little home field advantage. Yep. Um Dude, Cincinnati just hasn't that. been looking that great, though. It's not like either team's just been looking like the dominant team that they were at the beginning of the season. It's going to be interesting to watch them go against each other. I, I think I'd have to give the edge to the Bills, though, just from their defense a little bit. I feel like they have a little bit more complete defense. And at this stage of the game, like that, that probably is going to be the separator. I mean, they both have killer offenses that are capable of throwing up big numbers. But on the other side of the ball, I feel like the, the Bills have what it would take to stop Burrow. Yeah, bench just with the chat. Thanks here. Looks like Tom's on record thinking the Bills are going to win that game. Nick, who do you got? Yeah, it's hard to separate the emotion from this one because uh, I want the Chiefs to have the one seed so bad. Right. Cincinnati's on a on a win streak though, so it you know in the Bills defense that uh, that they are a, a really good unit, but they they don't have Von Miller anymore. So that's a, a big edge rusher that's just gone from their team. So I'm gonna go with the home team. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick Cincinnati to win by three. I I think that they're pretty evenly matched. So when in doubt, right, go with the home team. I didn't throw it out of score. I'm gonna say Bills 34, Cincy 30. I think it's gonna be pretty close. Yeah, I, I'm thinking Bengals are gonna win somewhere in that 27 to 24. 27, That's what I was thinking too. Um, and I, I honestly think – I just think the Bengals are playing better. And I think, like I said, Joe Burrow is a better quarterback than Josh Allen. Um, Bills have been – they've been hanging on by their fingernails, man, in these games here lately. So, um, not that the Bengals – they eked out of – the Patriots, shoot, they had them beat, man. Um and fumbled it away there at the goal line at the end. But Chiefs need to worry about 
the Broncos. This game in Buffalo? Yeah, I guess I can just look it up. I have the internet right here. No, so. I just looked it up. It's in Cincinnati for sure. Yeah, it's, it's in okay. yeah, Cincinnati's home team. So that's like I said, better quarterback playing better as of late, playing at home. I'm going the Bengals, and that's not. I mean, I obviously want the Bengals to win, but I, I, that's not really influencing my pick. So what do you got? What do you guys do on the Shan Club? Ooh, I'll lone wolf. Oh, lone wolf. You picked the Bills, right? Yeah, I picked the Bills. Yeah, Bo, the lone wolf. Um, well, he's, he's got Tom. Tom on his side here. There we go. Tom's in the chat picking the Bills. What a uh, how you th- I mean, what do you how, how are you guys thinking the playoffs are looking right now with the teams that are in right now? What teams are in that are maybe worrying you a little bit? I mean, the Chiefs play the Dolphins. I was a little worried with that their wide receiving core against our secondary, but the way Tua has looked in that defense, I mean, they just lost to the freaking Green Bay Packers at home. Um, I, I'm not as worried about that team as I was a few weeks ago. What do you think, Bo? Who playoff picture in the AFC right now? You know, it's it's still so up in the air with everything we're talking about. Like, should the Bills lose and we win out and we get that one seed, it looks completely different than if we get that two seed, right? If we get that two seed, it's looking like we're going to play the Chargers, dude. And, like, as much as, like, I feel like that's a win for us, I hate that game so much. The Chargers always tend to play as close. <laughs> Excuse me. They know how to play us. They play us well. Um, Herbert's. Hey, he finally got a winning. He's finally got a winning record on his on his stat sheet there. Right? Hats off to him. But uh, he can drop dimes when he wants to. That that team's yeah. He's not they're fairly decent. Herbert has not looked good the last two or three or four games, though. Man, he's struggling. I want to say he's got like two touchdowns in the last three or four weeks. Throwing intercept. They're they're riding Austin Eckler, and they're beating up on some some kind of rummy teams here late in the season. They, they they haven't really beaten anybody, any legitimate playoff contenders as far as I'm concerned. Uh, they're they're fattening up. I mean, they got swept by the Chiefs. They just beat the Dolphins, but the Dolphins are hanging on to the seventh seed for dear life right now. Um, I was looking there right now that if the season ended, it would be Chiefs to play the Dolphins, and then um, you'd have the Chargers going to the Bengals. I think the Bengals would take care of the Chargers. So, um, Nick, w- w- how do you feel about the playoffs? Chiefs' chances of getting one seed, potential matchups you'd like to see, you'd like to not see. Um, maybe you think the Jaguars yeah. in. Look, what do you think? Look, I, obviously you'd prefer to have the one seed and have home field advantage. I was, I was looking at it, though. And NFC and AFC combined, the Chiefs are 5-2. and two against current playoff teams if the were to you know season were to end today played seven games against playoff opponents and they've won five of them the two games that they lost combined six points so they have played well against high level competition oh, yeah. pardon yeah I'm, I'm agreeing with you oh yeah i, I oh, agree yeah. good point sorry uh so i you know I'm kind of with what Tom is saying. We have you know, the Chiefs are going to have to beat the Bills and or the Bengals. Bottom line, if they want to get out of this thing, so those are the two scary games because those are the two teams yeah. that have that have beat you this year. The Bengals beat you three straight. However, all of those Bengals games, I walked away from thinking we can we can beat this team. I don't. I didn't. It wasn't like where we were just overmatched. And we saw it last year, even when we got beat by the Bills and we looked overmatched in the regular season, the playoffs are, are a different animal. You got Patrick Mahomes plays differently in the postseason. You know, this is the only uh, quarterback-coach combination in the playoffs that has won a Super Bowl together. So you've got that experience. They've been there before. They're used to getting to at least the championship game, if not the Super Bowl. So... You know, I, I I'd obviously like to you know face the the Jaguars or the Dolphins rather than the Chargers or you know the Bengals or you know even the I mean the Titans if the Titans could sneak in I mean they played us hard too but I'm not I'm not all that worried about anybody if our defense can play like they played in this last game 
you know our offense is going to come through when it counts in the postseason. So, I mean, I, I know that's like a big nonsense, but I mean, <laughs> just bring it on, man. We got we got Patrick Mahomes and we got Andy Reid, bro. Let's let's do it, right? I mean, ideally, we would want to play the Jags, right? Or have the Patriots yeah, that's, sneak in? I think that's them. the best matchup. But yeah, I, I think I'd rather play the Dolphins and the Jaguars right now. Really? Um, just because of the quarterback. quarterback wise. Yeah. The, Trevor Lawrence is playing a lot better than Tua. Um, when Tua was in concussion protocol again, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah that, was weird. Weird. That, that was weird. I don't know that. I don't know if they were protecting his pride a little bit or something. I don't know what they were doing. They're, they just saw that last interception. Like, dude, something's not right with your brain, bro. That was he clearly terrible. had a concussion that we missed. <laughs> he, had, he, had Tyree, he had Tyree kill wide open in the middle of the field for a first down. And you're you know, I, Mike Gusecki. <laughs> CBS put out some interesting stats. There was a play where he hit his head off the turf really hard, and they put out his stats before that play and after that play, and, like, Numbers are kind of stacking up that, that he really did get another concussion, man. Like, just completely different. That'd be what, second or third one this year? <laughs> well, no, it'd be the second. But he yeah. played after the first one. That was the can continue to play with both of them if that's the case. Um, that's dangerous. That's scary for that dude. I mean, I like the guy. I don't, I'm not trying to bag on him personally or anything. It's just he, that, that was ugly. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not really – the Bills, to me, are a team that's peaked early and has kind of faded a little bit coming down the stretch here. Josh Allen has not been playing well at all the last several weeks. With the development of the Chiefs' run game, Jarek McKinnon and Isaiah Pacheco, even if we have to play them in Buffalo somehow, I, I'm not that worried about that. To me, the, the key to having the one seed is you, that way you don't have to play Buffalo and Cincinnati, right? That's you don't, yeah. You won't have to beat one of those teams. Not the Chiefs couldn't beat both of them. I think they could. And the Chiefs, it's weird to say, but with Patrick Mahomes especially, they almost seem like they play better on the road sometimes than they do at home, especially offensively. So um, definitely would rather have the one seed. I don't want to have to play anybody on the road. But if they did, if, if that turns out to be the case and they have to play at Buffalo, especially in a cold weather game with our run game and their their run defense, Vaughn Miller's gone for the season. He really was, I don't know if you want to say, the difference in the game here earlier in the year that the Chiefs lost to the Bills. But he got a big sack and made some big plays, was putting Mahomes under duress. Yeah. That's a huge loss for that team. They're trending downward as far as I'm concerned. So. 